I'm Lol. I am Paul, and together we are into sleep. No, I should say that in a real <laughs> voice, probably. Okay. Uh, I'm Lol. <laughs> I'm Paul, and we are winter sleep. So yeah, I guess we kind of consider all of our um, new records to be to be sort of a new chapter, kind of make it a blank slate, and then just kind of approach it as a record, and kind of give it its own sort of respect. But also, there is it's the first time we worked with Dave Fridman. Um, who's done like Flaming Lips and uh, management and just all these really amazing productions and uh, so that was like definitely sonically and, and mix wise I think it's a, it's a big difference from this record and the last few records so I think there's a few reasons as, that, that would be a few reasons why I would consider it maybe even more of a departure than maybe more of a difference from then like New Inheritors to Welcome to the Night Sky I think this one is maybe a bit bigger difference than those ones I don't know, I think we're, we're kind of, uh, have a, maybe it's like a short attention span or something like that, but it's like, once we do something, it's just, we feel like it's like, finished and to revisit things that are too similar, like, sometimes it's nice to have kind of similar threads that kind of thread the records together, it's kind of cool to have a song that's like, references maybe another song, but not, not in a way that it's kind of re, just reproducing like the same. Yeah. The, pro the process is kind of unpredictable, I guess, in the uh, in the way that you're gonna like, you know, come up with the tunes that you're gonna come up with, and you know, the way that you're gonna record it. Um, from the last record, uh, New Inheritors, we came a lot about a lot of that material while touring. So this new one, we had uh, we had a we had, we had a lot of time off, and uh, we had a, a studio space to work out of, and really, you know, concentrate and focus on the on the material. So that was a new thing for us too. Welcome to the, to the Night Sky, which is a couple of records back. We kind of did sort of in a similar way, to, we tracked it in a similar way that, to this one because we found that those were kind of lent themselves to these particular batch of songs to do it sort of more of a layered approach to the to the tracks, whereas New Inheritors we did, a, it, it wasn't really the same, we kind of, I guess not really, I guess there's similar layering, but we, the way that we did this one, we kind of finished the song like that day and we were kind of we wanted to make sure that we started working on the song and then by the end of the day it was like by the end of two days or whatever however long it took you'd be finished the song and you weren't you're, you weren't just recording like drum and bass and then take a break from that song and then come back to that song and i, I feel like it's uh it all yeah it all kind of all every all the elements in the song were all put like uh delivered at one time as opposed to just doing the bed tracks and then coming back to it months later or yeah it's like it just made it feel like it's more organic and yet your ideas are way fresher and you're just doing stuff that's a lot more impulsive and and then it's done and it's like there's something kind of liberating about doing it that way and something sort of have like a deadline and then it's just finished as opposed to like having this basic idea and then having all these thoughts in your head is what you can possibly do with it whereas in this one it just felt like we were just we just kind of did it as it went along and then it was done it was good to do it that way there's also like certain songs like where we deliberately were like well maybe there's a lot there's a lot of songs that there there's maybe a bunch of layering on the, a couple songs and there's like well this song kind of lends itself more to like just like a band playing in a room like just recording that and then leaving it at that and it's, uh, there's a couple songs on it that are a lot more bare sometimes the song really really feels better that way and then other times that you can kind of it's kind of neat to sort of deconstruct it and take it apart and kind of think about it in a different way than than maybe you would think about it as just a band in a jam space it kind of lends itself to some more sonic like possibilities and even like structural possibilities like yeah and, and the songs obviously come off you, you know we play them they come off differently live too so there's always you know there's this there's the record and then there's the song played at a concert which you know is always nice to be you know a slight variation on on it or you know there's that live aspect to it yeah. I think we're always kind of have general ideas but it's hard to kind of I think you only you can only really start seriously thinking about it when you actually start working on it and start like putting songs together I think that's kind of when, the, when we start kind of getting together mostly on that sort of stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you, yeah, you just pick up, uh, you know, you hear of you have cool ideas for songs, that, and it's like maybe it's something in the back of your mind that's like, oh, that sounds cool, maybe that'll be something we'll try. But I think 
yeah, a lot of times we just have a lot of ideas, and then it's just like a few of the ideas end up coming coming through and being kind of more uh, relevant at the time that you're working on it, and just preparing for it, to record it. Touring's like, it's pretty busy. Um, there's, you know, there's always a lot of people around, and it's like, you know, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of one unit, so it's hard to kind of like get your head away from, yeah. from, from that. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, well, we have a new record, I was like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's good to just, you know, focus on that. And then when you get when you get home, obviously, it's just like maybe there's like, maybe you're home for a week and then you like get some ideas happening or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can kind of if you if you're thinking too much about like new new material or something, it's almost you lose focus as to why you're there, like playing, presenting the song. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of like tr- tr- consciously trying to like not do that <laughs> like it's like I mean if you have a, sometimes it's like just an idea comes to your m- mind and you like record like a bit of it and it's like oh that's cool but it's hard to kind of seriously like work on something without cause I think it's real if you're like because we did that on a, a lot of shows like a, when we were touring Wealth Night Sky we would just like jam during sound checks and like our, the, our house guys like fuck off guys <laughs> fuck <laughs> off just do a song that you're gonna play tonight yeah please. and you got really I don't know so you kind of have to sort of there's a point where it's kind of like, I don't know, a little self, not even self-indulgent, but it's kind of like, I don't know. Still really like playing music. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. When, when moving to Montreal is, and kind of being uh, around a lot of people make, doing the same thing, playing in bands and stuff like that, it was kind of like, I don't know, for the first couple of years, it was kind of, like, I don't know, it was kind of easy to feel kind of inferior or something like that. You just like, you know. But uh, I don't know, just kind of like definitely realizing that it's like still about being 13 and <laughs> learning, you know, just trying to make something happen every day.